So I just have to pay tax, is that what you said? Uh, what's the port fee? Okay, and if I'm keeping anyone in my luggage or suitcase, do I have to pay their port fee? You gotta pay the port fee, which is due time of booking. I'm paying the government tax, which is mainly for all this perverse. Okay, so if I'm keeping animals or people within my luggage, I don't have to worry about them. They're just, they're going through, that's fine. Okay, great. My wife's pretty small, she can fit in there. Uh, so it'd really just be for w one person. Uh, how did you know that? Everybody I spoke with this morning, they've been on previous cruises with either Carnival, Royal Caribbean, or Norwegian. No, usually I just take out the, uh, the dinghy with my, on my own. It's what? Just the dinghy, the little scooter in the back of the boat, that's about it. Otherwise, I've, I've never cru- I've cruised in USA, but never internationally. Oh, okay. Do I get to sleep on the boat, or is it, like, in, like, by the machinery, or is it on the deck, or... If as long as it's clear and I could see it's like sleeping in an aquarium, that'd be great. Okay, and where are we going? Oh, so I also have to get to Miami. All right, that's quite a walk. Is there any way to request to go back to Europe, take the trip that my great grandparents took? I can go do the same thing. Uh, no, we don't have any trips to Europe. I've heard like for cruises that usually the staff is the one always like fooling around after hours. Are there any on board women that are noted to be loose that could help me out? <laughs> sure, sure. I mean, it's all depending on how lucky you are that day, of course. Okay, see, that's the thing. I'm a pretty unlucky guy, so I want to have the odds put in my favor. So, so uh, when you, once you're in international water, I know you can gamble. I don't know what, if, like, other rules are allowed to be broken at that point. Uh, 